And before we start, I will show some of my artworks. If you don't know who the, uh, what artist am I, what watercolor am I, and what I am painting. So here it goes. Some paintings that I did in the last few years. So, okay, let's get going. Hi, today our new exercise uh, and this exercise uh, is about gradient wash, not multi-layer one uh, that we did with three previous uh, lessons, but uh, smooth one. I pre-painted these guides for our gradients. Uh, you have the link uh, for the file uh, in in video description. And we will do different size uh, gradients, gradient washes. Why uh, this is so important? Because this is uh, quite common. Uh, novice mistake uh, they don't see the size of the gradient they have to apply say for example this is one of my uh, work with student and you see that gradients are very different in size here a lot of very different uh, size uh, gradients and that's uh, that thing uh, that you have to concern about that you have to see uh, when you paint. And this is my uh, original exercise for training on uh, this uh, problem with uh, gradient washes. So it's not maybe easiest exercise for novice, but uh, I believe it's a must for any of my uh, student uh, to proceed with first uh, uh, program uh, of painting education. And our first thing uh, that we will start with is we will wash our surface uh, of our shapes uh, with clean water.
then I have to check out uh, the tone I uh, did for start of gradient wash. It must match uh, the top, uh, the darkest parts of my wash. So uh, I just test it on the paper. I use Daniel Smith Indigo, but you can, uh, of course, you can uh, use the paint you like. Uh, that's all yours decision on the color. And now, with my pre, uh, prepared uh, mix of color, uh, the tone I need, I will start uh, our gradient wash. I do almost uh, the same uh, length of first sector uh, with full, uh, full tone. Uh, and even overlap to the uh, next one first. I start uh, like ordinary wash, but then I thin out my brush slightly with water, so the tone start to get slightly lighter. And I thin out my brush, uh, the more I press it down. And tone become lighter and lighter. Always check my uh, guide to the right. My brush become cleaner and cleaner, less paint, uh, the more I press it. On the bottom I just uh, slightly remove uh, too much paint with water and end up with almost clean brush, it's almost clean water. Not the best wash I did, but <laughs> uh, but at least you got idea how to do it. And we start another one with a more complicated shape. It must uh, match. Uh, in theory, it must match uh, our guide uh, by the lightness. So, the closer you are, better you are doing. 
Sometimes I really, uh, if I uh, g didn't get a result I uh, desired to get, uh, I just apply more wash layers. It's also a quite smart idea uh, I, I have seen from other painters to do such gradient washes in few layers. Uh, they do it thinner, but uh, when layers overlap each other, it it leads to much smoother and predictable result. You control it even much better uh, than in one go. Next three pieces have different length. Uh, one is uh, longest one, other is shorter than our previous, and uh, the right, far right uh, on the corner uh, is the shortest one over all our exercise. It's it's changed the length, but it's the same uh, the same method to do it. Slightly overlap uh, my next step in uh, multi-layer gradient guide, and proceed with water. Now I see that I got too light uh, too early, so I just added some paint and just move it with uh, with water uh, distributed uh, more uh, on the whole wash. Now all the same, but on the shorter distance. And the smallest one, shortest one.
three remaining parts are slightly more complicated. First one has isn't uh, that linear that we have before. It uh, has more darker part, uh, more massive darker part on the top, and uh, become lighter, uh, slightly quicker uh, to the bottom. Once again, overlap the next uh, section and add some water after that. Add some paint because it, it, once again it become too light. and end up with almost clean water on the bottom. And uh, different situation when uh, opposite uh, situation when we have very small dark part, very thin, thin, thick one, thin one, and it quite quickly become much lighter. And most difficult, the last shape. This is uh, this is two uh, two sided uh, gradient. So we will have uh, to lead it both to the top and to the bottom to light it up. Finish on the top part. And continue to the bottom.
and that's it. That is uh, uh, our exercise. So that's it. That's my final result. My gradient washes. I be. I hope you will do much better. So, like my video if you like it, or dislike if you don't like it. Uh, share it because uh, my channel depends on you, my audience. See you next time.